welcome back to our channel. Um, I actually needed to pull this video out from the vault because I have already recorded Hi, baby. I have already recorded. Did you see this? He's like upside down. Hi. Hi. I actually already recorded a video of how we trained Theo um, when both me and my husband worked full time. So I actually made this video when Theo was a puppy, so it was fresh on my mind, but I realized that I never posted it. So I'm going to just wanted to introduce it so you guys didn't think it was coming out of nowhere. This is an older recorded video, so you might see Theo with a little bit of a different haircut, um, but the information um, was given when it was fresh on my mind. Now, before I put in the video, I need you guys to go down to the comment box and tell me what you want our next video to be. So while you're there, hit subscribe so that you don't miss any of those new videos, and please make sure to go over to Theo's Instagram account. That's at Theo, my dude, D-O-O-D, -O -O -D, and uh, be sure to hit a follow there too. We really appreciate your love and support. And now last thing before I put in that video, hi, I know you want the treat. Okay, 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 sit. Was that good manners? Um, but last thing before I pu uh, pull up that video, so the last thing that, come here, come here, come sit, come sit, good boy, down, over, halfway, good enough, here you go. So the last thing before I hop into that video is that I have been getting so many questions and so I put together a quick cheat sheet. Guys, this is 10 things that you need to know even if you're even thinking about getting a golden doodle. If you have a golden doodle, if you're about to get a golden doodle, do not do it until you read these 10 things. It's a totally free download. It's just a quick cheat sheet. Put in your email at the link below. I'm going to put it in the description box and it'll be sent directly to your email. So um, that way you guys will have all the information that I read, researched, and found out before I brought our little furball into our family. Again, thank you guys so much for watching and please enjoy this video on how we raised our puppy and trained him, bless you, while working full time. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing one of my most highly requested videos, which is talking all about Theo and how to get a dog when you work full time. So this is a topic that I think is really important because it's probably one of the things, can you sit please? Can you sit? Sit. No, don't kiss. Sit. Okay, roll over. Roll over. Okay. Sit. Leave it. Down. Leave it. This is one of the things that I looked up the most before I was deciding to get a dog. And I think it's really important because it's something that everyone should be like well aware of when you know what you're getting yourself into. I feel like one of the biggest issues is that people will adopt or purchase dogs and not know really what commitment that they're making. And then those dogs end up back at the shelter or they end up, um, you know, being rehomed and you should just really know what you're getting yourselves into. So I wanted to be really honest about what the process was like for us. Okay, can you sit? Can you sit? Okay, down. So Theo um, is our mini golden doodle. We bought him from a breeder and in another video I actually explained why we chose a breeder instead of adopting. So if that's something that you are sensitive about, please know that I acknowledge it and um, I do wish that we would have adopted but for reasons um, that were very specific we decided to um, purchase Theo. And so we bought him from a very reputable breeder that was uh, reliable and someone that we trusted and um, had friends and family who also got um, dogs from from them so we felt good about the humanity of the dogs that were being bred so that being said um, I want to just really like dive in and be honest about what it was like um, so we got Theo when he was eight weeks old uh, we ended up putting he is a mini golden doodle so we put our name on a list um, and then when they were born we actually can you sit can you lay down can you lay down? Okay, roll over. Okay, stay. Stay. So when he was born, we were able um, to see him after five weeks. That's when they've gotten their first round of shots. And we picked him out. Um, I, you know, they said, like, the dog picks you. You don't pick the dog. No, we 100% picked the dog. Like, we were like, we want that one. And I'm pretty sure he, like, ran away from us the first time. But he's since warmed up. Um, but so we picked him out at five weeks. We we're able to take him home at eight weeks. Um, it's really important for the weaning process that they are able to stay with their moms for at least eight weeks. If someone is trying to give you the dog at six weeks, I would be hesitant. Um, it's just important for them. And then uh, once we took him home, it was a bit of a process. I want to be honest and say that the first two months are really the hardest. Um, it definitely gets easier, but those first two months, like boy, oh boy, 
Um, but there's a light at the end of the tunnel. I would say that he was more or less fully trained by like six months and we gave him full reign of our house by like eight months. Okay. So when I say that, um, I want to tell you a little bit about what it was like. So it's so important for them when you um, take them home that they feel like this is a safe space and that this is their home. For that reason, come here. For that reason, um, we were told by our breeder and also by our vet to crate train, um, and I'm so happy that we did. I really do recommend it. Um, it's not inhumane at all. It's really something that they feel like this is their trusted home, um, and it's a way for you to leave them when they're young um, in like a safe, constrained space. So he was crate trained. Um, we kept him in our crate till about six months, and then he graduated uh, at like the seventh month to a four by four playpen, um, and then by eight months we kind of blocked off an area for him separating that playpen I'll link to all of the things that we used below um and then after eight months we just kind of gave him free reign of the house and we haven't really looked back Theo is a year old now if that helps so um the first two three months really um my husband and I both work full-time so what we did is that his hours are a little bit more flexible but I, we, we would leave for work at roughly the same time. Um, he would leave a little bit later than I did because he comes home later than I do. Um, so the, his last kind of potty break or like the last time he was taken out was around 9 a.m. ish. So from 9 till about 11.30, I would come home from work. I'd take an early lunch and I would be with him till about 12.30. The same day, my husband would then come home around 1 30 and stay with him till about 2 30 and then theo would have his like longest stint from about 3 30 to around 5 when i got home from work um and then it would be like till 7 and then 9 and then 11. so it's true like if you don't plan on using potty pads you have to take your dog out every two hours like regard especially if they're in a crate um, they're going to hold it because they're very cautious about their space, but you need to take them out. Like this is like their relief and you have to be there. So if you're by yourself and you don't have someone that can like trade off times with you, I would be super hesitant to get a dog unless you plan on using the potty pads and pee pads, which are there for a reason. Like not everybody can do this, but Theo was quicker to train because we used this system. Um, it's not for everybody. It was such a hassle. The fact that we both came home for lunch every single day is ridiculous. And I like thinking about it now, I'm like, I don't even know how we did it. Uh, but we did it and we did it for about two, two and a half months. Um, at really around two months, that's when we cut it to like either one or the other would come and we'd come right around 12. And then from there, we just like kept doing that until six months. And then after six months, we took away the like lunchtime visit, which is also when he had a little bit more um, rain and a little bit more space. So if you are by yourself, um, it is hard, but it's definitely possible. I would def definitely recommend looking up videos on people who um, set up like a system and had like pee pads set up. The reason why we didn't do the pee pads is because um, it really trains your dog that like, even on this particular area, it's okay to go inside. When you have a space like we do, like we're really lucky. We have a big backyard. We are, it's right outside. We're on one level. Uh, we're not in like some high rise apartment or condo. We just like wanted to train him. Like we go outside, outside is where we go. That's it. So Theo was fully trained um, at two months. Theo, come here. Come here, baby. So because we didn't use pee pads, Theo was fully trained to go outside at two months, which is, I think, really impressive, but also just situational. It was, we were lucky because of our situation and that we had two people. So if you don't have two people and if that can come home every single day, or if you have one person that can be home every single day and let your dog out every two hours, I do think you have to use pee pads. It will be a lot harder. It will probably take a lot longer, but it's definitely possible. And I'm sure there's a million videos on YouTube and articles on how you can do that. So don't feel discouraged, but I did want to be really honest and explain what the process was like for us. Um, Theo is such a great dog and we're so happy that we got him, but we look back on that time in the beginning and we're like, oh, that was rough. But 
The training process, even like to giving him full reign of the house and not having to come home at lunch, took about six months from, um, actually when he was six months old. Yeah, so really only four months because we got him at two months. Is that right? Yeah, I think that's right. That's right. So four to six months is what you're looking at for like these everyday midday breaks. After that, it'll be easier. You can also adopt a dog that's a little bit older if that's something that you're concerned about. But if you're getting a puppy, every two hours is definitely the rule. I think the general rule of thumb is, um, okay, down, 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 down. The general rule of thumb is one hour longer than their age. So if they're two months, they can hold it for three hours. If they're three months, they can hold it for four hours, etc., cetera, et cetera. Um, now Theo um, goes out when we leave for work. So really around like 8.30 is his first break. And then I come home around 5.30 to 6. And that's his second break. And then we take him out one more time before bed. So he's a pro now because he's a year old. Um, and also I want to say that it depends on the size of the dog. Like if you have a really small dog, they're going to have a really small bladder. And if you have a bigger dog, they'll have a bigger bladder. Theo's about 30 pounds for reference. 35 on a fluffier day. Can you sit? Can you stay? Can you stay? Okay, okay. Can you stay? Can you sit? Can you give me a kiss? Can you give me a kiss? Can you kiss? No. Theo, up. Theo, sit. Stay. Stay. Shake. Okay. Sit. Sit. Kiss. Okay. Um, so... Theo is such a great dog, and I definitely recommend, if you're looking to get one, to do tons of research. I'll put the channels of some of my favorite YouTubers that I learned so much about Theo from. If you're interested, start watching those videos now. You can never have too much knowledge, but please educate yourself before getting, um, purchasing, or adopting any dog. I definitely um, advocate for not returning your dog when you get him. This is your lifelong investment, so to say. Um, but the dogs are great, and I'm so lucky to have them in our lives, and we would, I would go through it all over again. Don't know about my husband. Say bye! Okay, that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Guys, Theo has been trained since he was uh, four months old and, and uh, just two months in our house and four months everywhere, and uh, these tips that I presented in the video really helped. So, you want to say bye? We'll see you guys in our next video. Hit subscribe!